Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from Eddie, K6SDW, and he has a question about why an external SWR meter is different or reads differently from an internal SDR, uh, SWR meter. I would like to pay a special thanks to Charles uh, Maynard, who is one of my most recent patrons on Patreon. You too can become a patron of this channel by going to patreon.com slash ke0og and picking a method that works for you. Now let's jump into the question. And uh, here's what he says. My current HF setup is the 7300 the MFJ 945E tuner with metering, and the MFJ 1984 MPN-fed half-wave antenna up about 30 feet and zigzags around my backyard. It's fed with RG8X. RG8X is a nice general-purpose uh, coaxial cable. When the tuner is in the circuit, I'm able to work the 30 and 17 meter bands but I need to use the manual tuner to bring the SWR down to less than 1.5 to 1. When doing so, the ICOM 7300 SWR, as displayed on the rig and the MFJ 945E uh, built-in meter, do not agree with one another. So which SWR meter should I use to tune the antenna circuit? Um, let's take a look at how all of these are put together. In the 7300, we have the final amplifier, okay, followed by an SWR meter, followed by the tuner. Okay, this is in the 7300. And then you have out here your uh, 945e. This is what the 945e looks like right here. It's a standard uh, tuner. It's probably a T-tuner with a little cross needle SWR. And normally I tune for the least reflected power, but where the needles cross, which line that crosses on, that will indicate what the SWR is. I have a similar cross needle SWR meter right here and you see for example that um, where the needles cross that's the SWR. It's a little harder to read than just an ordinary uh, SWR meter that's digital. But let's show what's inside the uh, the tuner. You've got an SWR and then you've got a tuner and then this goes out to the antenna, okay? So that's the 7300. This is the 945E. Okay, so you've got SWR meters. Now, if you're not supposed to use the 7300 both with the internal tuner and an external tuner, they will fight against each other. Okay, so if this is turned off, I'm going to use blue. There are people who are colorblind and green. Um, normally, when you're using this tuner, you should turn this off. So you've got an SWR meter in series with an SWR meter followed by a tuner. Okay, and you operate this tuner to get the lowest SWR. Now the SWR in the radio should, in theory, read the same as the SWR meter here, but it never does. Now there's a reason for that, and the reason is that, and here I'll turn on the radio so you can see it. Okay, now we've got all our meters here. There's SWR down there, okay? Now, if I were to transmit, let's see, we're on 14. Let's 
Hello, hello, hello. Okay, that's pretty bad. Um, let's, well, let's on D. Let's turn it to, there, okay. Okay, we're on 20. And now, if I just put um, a tone on here, Hello, 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 hello. It's holding about 1.3. Let's see what we get over here. Here. Hello, hello, hello. You see, it's really hard to read when it's low like that. Let's do something where we know we will have a high SWR. Um... Let's go to 40 meters. The antenna doesn't do 40 meters. So hello. Well, that's CW. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. So you're getting a very high SWR. Okay. And let me see what the... Here's your SWR, it's very high. Here's the cross needle hardly, hardly moves. So you've got, this is crossed needle here. Crossed needles. Here, and this is a bar graph. Now, just a second, sorry. What we have here is a bar graph type SWR meeting cross needles right here. Depending on how high the SDR is, it's very difficult to read the actual SWR with the crossed needles, SWR, not SDR. And over here, the SWR, you can read on the bar graph, and it peaks out on you. If you notice here, just talking a little right here, see how it leaves a little red thing right where the highest SWR was. Okay, now if we go uh, back to... 20 meters, uh, the highest SWR, it's in the, it's in the blue now, but what you see right here is a little tiny uh, dot that kind of comes up to the right value. Notice that as I speak, it goes around KE0OG for ID testing. So bottom line is this, you've got two different types of SWR. This one's easy to read. This one is not always easy to read. Um, they should indicate the same, but they won't because uh, SWR meters uh, measure, there, there's a bunch of S parameters uh, having to do with networks S11, S12, S21, and S22. And an SWR meter measures that one, S11, which is the standing wave ratio. Um, the others can be measured, but most hams don't bother. These are not laboratory-grade instruments, okay? So they might read a little bit different from each other. The thing you're looking for is the minimum SWR. So on the cross needles, what I look for on there is this reflection needle right here. I'm looking for that to read as low as possible while this one goes up and down. That's what I tuned for. Here you can look for the SWR uh, directly. Okay, so I help, uh, hope that it helps explain this. If for some reason you've left the tuner in, in the circuit right here, which you shouldn't do, it's going to try and tune what it sees here. So if you got it down to 1.5 to 1, it's going to try and tune that down to zero. And you're going to get 
the reading, remember, SWR reads this way. So this reads this way. So if you are tuning with this, which you shouldn't be if you're using an external tuner, um, you're going to get a different reading, uh, quite a different reading here from that. Even if you don't use this, okay, this and this are right directly in series and should read the same thing, but they won't quite, okay, uh, because of the technology. In fact, I've never heard of them reading the same thing. So there you have it. If you would like to support this channel financially, you can certainly do so by going to decastlercom slash support, and it outlines several ways, including Patreon, that you can do that. And until we next meet, 73. <music>